Here's a quick video about a certain device called the Uniform Light Source that I just rediscovered on one of my shelves. I bought it a while back for no reason in particular. I just had a little space left in the trunk and a little money left in the wallet. So I started looking around and this thing appeared. Big, black and metallic. It wasn't terribly expensive, probably because there is absolutely no data available for this thing. That's a big deal for sure, because with these uniform light sources you are not only looking for an even distribution of brightness, which this one has to a certain degree, but also for stability of the light spectrum. And that can't be guaranteed here, because there's just an unknown LED in there. It is generously heat sunk, so at least we can expect less spectral shifts because of thermal effects. But there can also be cracks in the substrate and ballistic effects and collisions. And the constant current driver has to be selected very carefully too, because PWM can cause problems. Usually high quality discharge lamps would be used for an application such as this, but those alone cost at least 10 times the price that I paid for the whole device. Anyway, let's have a peek inside, blow out the dust, look our fill at the beautiful lenses that I expect to be in there. A lamp assembly with heatsink and constant current driver and a little diffuser. First lens, it's a planar convex one and it's actually the only one that I'm going to take out. It's probably doing something like a collimator, parallelizing the light from the diffuser. Sorry for the misdirected camera here, but in there is not much to see, just a 45 degree one-way mirror. This tiny flashlight actually has its own collimator and there's no diffuser in the way, so it's even brighter. Another lamp could be attached here, maybe a cheap one, to be used for alignment, so that you don't have to use up the lifetime of your expensive constant spectrum lamp for such trivial tasks. Thank God I didn't do that, it would have been so typical.
and back on the shelf for another decade or so. See you later.